KO Artist Sports here with Danny, the Mirror Man, the Miracle Man, Jacobs. Man, everyone's messing up your, your middle name. Me yeah. too, man. <laughs> <laughs> first, uh, first, tell me about the suit, brother. You're looking real fly right now. Well, they say when you look good, you perform good. And that, my trainer is the owner of Havoc, the Havoc boxing brand that you see in the ring. He's been making that for since I've known him. He's been the man, and he's always said, when you look good inside that ring, it gives you that extra oomph to perform good. So it's a dress for the job that you want, right? Absolutely. <laughs> um, you have a 91% KO ratio. He has a 92% KO ratio. It's literally like 0.6, I want to say, is like right, the difference. Right. Uh, is there reason to hire judges that night? <laughs> <laughs> well, absolutely. I mean, you know, this is sport of boxing. Anything can happen. Uh, that's why there's plan A and plan B and plan C, because if one thing don't work, you go to the next thing. So you never can dictate what's going to happen, but it has every makeup to be a spectacular knockout performance. What was it about uh, Gennady that you seem to be the only guy that's like running towards him, everyone else seems to be running away. What was it about him? Is there something you see that you're like, that, like I can take advantage of this, this is where my spots can be, my advantages are, this and that? Well, I want to be the best. And to be the best, you have to beat the best. No matter how high the challenge may seem, and no matter how hard the obstacles may be, you have to put yourself to the test to prove to yourself that you are the best, and that's what I look forward to doing. And I believe that I have all the attributes to add to this, uh, to the fight, and to confuse him, or to push him back, or whatever it may be to win. I know I have the will, and that's ultimately what it takes. You also seem to have the size. I mean, you're definitely taller than him by at least about two inches, it seems like. Um, Width-wise, you guys are about even, if not you're bigger. How do you use that to your advantage in the fight? Um, you know, size matters in, in, in boxing, as we've seen with the Kell Brook and um, Triple G fight. Because even though Kell Brook had his uh, series of success, the size difference ultimately made the difference. And I think that when you fight someone who maybe you hit and don't really hurt, or maybe you push back and really stands there and don't give you that ground that you're used to having, cause confusion. And um, that's what I look forward to, using my size, my skills, and everything I have in my enchilant to uh, be able to be successful. Speaking of that fight, uh, Gennady fought very differently than normal. He kind of fought a street fight, like he said. His, his uh, trainer even gave him a deep performance on it, even though he got the victory. Why do you think that was, and do you feel that I asked him also, the last time he fought a power puncher, he was like all boxing. Obviously, his last fight, he was like brawling. Right. You know, what is it difficult to kind of prepare, not only obviously for the power puncher, but the style that he's going to come in with? Well, to answer the first question, I just think that um, when you know you can go, go in there and hurt a guy, sometimes the boxing go out the window. And that's why I believe he went maybe for the knockout and he looked and performed the way he did. Uh, but when you have maybe a level of respect for uh, your opponent's power, then certain things changes. I'm not sure how he'll come out or if he will respect my power or how the fight will pan out. But at the end of the day, I just know that I have to prepare for the best Triple G uh, that I've ever seen. And last question. Uh, obviously, a lot of people point to the, the Pirog fight, uh, your only loss, and, and it was a KO loss because he was a power puncher. Um, but that was a long time ago. You know, what do you say to fans who are like, oh, well, he lost to Pirog, he lost by KO, now he's fighting, you know, Gennady Golovkin. Uh, you know, wh why am I going to watch this fight? What do, you, what, what do you say to fans that say stuff like that? I mean, world champions go down. Like I've said before, Manny Pacquiao has been knocked out two or three times before he was pound for pound king, considered the best fighter in the world. So this is a sport of boxing. You get hit, you go down, but it's about how you react once you get up. If you keep fighting on, or do you let all that stuff overcome you and be defeated? I'm not one to be defeated. Uh, I may go down, but I'm going to get my ass back up and I'm going to continue to fight. And that's the end of the day. That's, that's who I am as a person. My back has always been against the wall. I've always had it tough. I've always had it hard. But does that stop me from reaching my goals? Does that not motivate me to be the best that I can be? No, it doesn't. It, don't, it only adds uh, motivation. And for fans who don't know, he's 8-0 with 8 KOs since then. So uh, give the man his due. Thank you so much, sir. Really appreciate it. Can't wait for this fight. Thank you for taking it, man. Thank you. Thank you.